if you've ever wanted to know what solo van life is like on the road here in Australia full time, stick around because this vlog might just be for you. Hey, I'm Tamsin, this is Carly, and we travel around Australia in Calypso, our motorhome. Together we make destination sacred grounds. We share our experience, our journey, and tips and tricks along the way. So if that resonates with you, stick around. So I recognized that I needed to bring it all in again, as I did with the four and the six month vlog. Look at what's working, what's not working. Is this lifestyle even right for me? And I've done that and I've thought about and really reflected over the past couple of weeks. This nine months has been, it has been a challenge. It has been, there've been so many interesting things that have arisen. There've been so many challenges, but there's also been so much joy and love and uh, reflecting on this time, I've learned a lot about myself and I've learned a lot about living on the road. I've learned a lot about motorhomes and how to survive and thrive. There's been lots of learning along my journey, which I've really appreciated. And the joy, the joy is out of this world. Uh, each time I come to a new destination and I uh, connect to the land and I connect to the trees and the elements and, and the sky and all of the wildlife. It is just, there's, I can't describe what this feeling is. It is a connection like no other. It's a deep spiritual connection. So if anyone is wanting to seek out love from within and joy from within and connect on a deeper level, I would definitely say this is probably the, the life for you if you can get around all the challenges and if you know what you're doing on the road and you know a little bit about motorhomes or vans or whatever it might be that you want to travel in. So Carly is also settling in quite well on the road. Uh, the first little bit of time she actually really thrived in Calypso and then the drives was the things that she really struggled with. She did not like drives. I tell her adventure time. But I say it in a different tone, and as soon as I say that, she looks at me with these wide eyes and she knows that we're going for a drive. Uh, so she still doesn't like that. I'm not sure what else to do about that, except make her as comfortable as I can. If you have any tips or ideas, please let me know in the comments below, because I really want to make sure that she's more happy. She's as happy as she possibly can be, and I know she likes this lifestyle, but she would definitely um, benefit from not being fearful of the drives. In saying that, she looks okay when we're driving. She's all, you know, kind of hidden up in her space, uh, in her crate or whatever. And she looks okay, but it's just that fear she holds as soon as I tell her, you know, that it's the time now to drive. It's adventure time. Um, yeah, but, you know, as soon as we hit up our new space, she's checking out her environment. I tell her, destination sacred grounds and she gets out of her space and she looks at the birds and she looks at her new environment so i think the biggest lesson i've learned so far being full-time on the road for nine months and this will be different for everybody everyone will have their own experiences um as to how it impacts them but having all these repairs and maintenance and things that get broken and actually knowing that you know what it's going to happen regardless and that's okay and it's really how we deal with those situations and uh, being present and mindful as, as we possibly can will definitely help help in that process and there's a pel there's two pelicans down there oh crap I don't know if you can see these guys It's starting to head back out. Yeah. Uh, and also not going to Sydney. Like, I like going to Sydney for certain things, but, um, you know, it's such a different environment. As soon as I hit the outskirts and I connect back to the land and to the earth, it is such a different space. And it's in that space where I find that inner joy. Uh, so if I could recommend anything, don't go to Sydney. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, do what you need to do. Uh, everyone will have their own experiences and uh, that is just mine.
This vlog is a little bit shorter than what I normally put out there, but I am preparing to take a six week journey into different vast states and show you the trip along my way. So that's what I'll be preparing for in my next vlog. And I've already hit my first destination. So again, if you've gotten anything out of this vlog, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe to the channel, get the notifications by clicking that bell. And if you feel inclined to shout me a coffee, my Ko-fi link is down below. Anyways, until next time, take care.